Hi, my name is Jessica Alonzo, and I'm a demonstration teacher. I teach third grade dual at Bonnie Hill Elementary. And for this presentation, I'm going to teach you how to convert a PDF into an editable file using Google Slides. For this demonstration, um, you will be entering Clever and going to McGraw-Hill. Once you're in McGraw-Hill, Go ahead and go to your TE. Go ahead and go to your TE. And for this, I'm going to go to my spelling worksheets. As you can tell, this file has several pages. I'm going to take a screenshot of this one, Command Shift 4. Go ahead and exit out. Now open up Google Slides. From your waffle, go to Slides. Going to choose a blank page. I don't need these text boxes, so I'm going to go ahead and so, um, select them and delete. I don't need this theme. I'm going to close it out. I do need to change my page setup, so go to File, Page Setup. And I want my page to be landscaped. Google Slides automatically defaults to widescreen, so I'm going to go to Custom. This will be eight and a half by 11. Okay, so there it is. Now I want to set my background to be the worksheet that I just took a screenshot of. Move your window and my screenshot is right here. Okay, there it is. So now um, it's secure. It's flat on the page. The students cannot move this um, screenshot. Now I want to be able to add some text boxes. So go ahead and click on your text box. I want them to have somewhere to write their name. But I want this to stand out. So I'm going to go to my paint bucket, also known as fill color. I'm going to choose a color that stands out. I want it to have a border. I'm going to pick three. And I want to make sure it's a straight line. So when I click out of it, you could tell it has a border now and that stands out. I'm going to type in name so they know to type in the box. This font Arial, I don't really care for it. Um, I really like Century Gothic because it's true to the letter A and I like to use the font size 24. Okay, so now we know that they could type in their name. Well, this activity says circle the spelling words in each row that rhymes with the word in bold type. Write the spelling word on the line. Okay, well, most kids are having a hard time writing in using their iPad. Um, if they're using a Chromebook, forget it. It takes too long um, for them to create their text boxes. I like to do it for them. So I'm going to highlight that text box. I'm going to press Command-C to copy and Command-V to duplicate or paste. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I place my text boxes on the side. I'm going to make this font smaller and I'm going to center it. In order to center, you go to more, you click on center. And I want this in bold because I want it to stand out. So now what I'm going to do for my students is I'm going to type in the words. I want the same text box because it's already it already looks the way I want it to look. So command V, oh wrong one. I need this one. So Command C for copy, Command V for paste. And then what I'll do is I'll just type in all other words. Command V. And you see there's a red line. That means it's lined up for me. So it's lining it up for me. So I would continue and do this for all of the words. Plain. But for the sake of time, I'm, I'm only going to do these few. Now, the direction stated that they also needed to circle, that they needed to circle the words that rhyme. 
So if you want them to circle, what you could do is go to shapes, add your circle. Let's see how wide I want it to be. That's right about, let me get a little bit bigger. Okay, so let's say that I want it that big. Well, the problem is, is when you place the circle over a word, it hides the word. You can't see the word. But there's a way around that. So what you do is you click on it. You go to your paintbrush. I want it to be, let's say that I want it to be the same color as a text box. And I want it to be see-through or transparent. So you move this handle over to the left and it will now be transparent. See? So imagine what you could do with those fluency passages, with math problems. Okay, so I want the line to be a little bit um, wider. And let's do three. Okay, there. So now it stands out. So again, now the kids are able to circle the word that rhymes with the given word. And if you want to create a lot of these, you just Command C and Command V, Command V, Command V, Command V, Command V, as many as you want. I usually leave a lot of extras. So this is how you would make a PDF editable and user-friendly for your scholars. I hope you enjoyed this presentation.